Hello and welcome. This is Andy, I'm Serena and together we're Right Foot Travel. Join us in our epic open-ended honeymoon travelling around the world. See? Oh, so we are going to be heading up to that mountain range. This thing I don't up know there. if you can see the steam coming off the mountain, but there is a crater up there you can hike up to. But uh, Andy has just finished his haircut and he's looking pretty good. fresh. I'm pretty happy what he did. He didn't he doesn't do shaves, so I might have to do it myself. But no, it's pretty good. And it's 27, 2,700 yen, so not too bad. So, one thing that's a little bit of a bumpy ride for filming, we love driving our car, but he is an old boy. He's 1992. We did pay the money to get the suspension upgrade done for him. But uh, the roads in Japan are proving to be quite bouncy. So, it is a little uncomfortable after a while. Um, I probably wouldn't drive more than five hours in this car, and even that's. Well, oh, this road is it's pretty bad. Stretch. We never had a road that bad. No, we never have had roads as bad as where we are right now, which I think is Ferrano. And I must say, there's like nothing but fields of wheat, heaps of spring onions, and, and whatever uh, it is. I don't know what that is. Maybe cabbage. I don't know. But it is actually really cool. Oh, there's an army. Oh, there was a tank before. There's a tank before. I missed it. So, that's a um, classic example right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so now we're going to be heading up to the hot, hot springs up in that mountain range somewhere. It's a free outdoor one. So, I don't, we don't really know what the etiquette is for that. From what we've heard, that you can go in butt naked or you can wear bathers. We'll probably wear bathers because it's. Unisex. So unisex. So. Any um, <laughs> anyone can go in. Um, so we'll probably just yeah wear wear our bathers. Thankfully, we did pack some. Um, I just wear undies. After that, uh, we will then go to an on uh, the Mishinoeki uh, because we desperately need to get some water in our uh, tank, which we haven't done for a while now. And uh, yeah. Then tomorrow we will head off to the beautiful Bulu Lake we've heard a lot about. That's okay. Look at this beautiful. Mm, you can, can see uh, the steam. Ah, yes. Ah. Okay. <laughs> so we just finished the magical onsen. Oh, can't really put it in the films because people are actually naked in there. And it was mainly the men, not the women. Oh. But when we rocked up, <laughs> there was nothing but naked men there. And then we're like, oh shit, is this... Kind of so you can kind of see it, but not really. So we've just finished up at the uh, Onzen, which was absolutely beautiful. Really lovely. We did get chatting with to some guy that's loves golfing and travels around the world um, but with this onsen is a 24-hour onsen so you can go there at any time of the night any time of the day and if you did go there at night time the stars would be incredible but if you're in the bottom pool there is a little wooden off section where the hot water is coming in and you can actually drink the water that's coming out of the mountain funnily enough it tastes like lemon I was surprised, it tastes actually really good. Yeah, it does. It actually tasted like hot lemon water. Yeah, you could it, have a bottle put in a thermo and then drink it night. Yeah, and the, the Japanese guy that was talking to us, he goes, here, drink this lemon water. And I'm like, that's not lemon water, it's coming out of the mountain. I thought, you know, I thought he was having a bit of a joke on us, but I tried it. I was like, oh, holy shit, this tastes like lemon water. <laughs> for a little walk to the blue pond mm -hmm. from there it's about two kilometers from there maybe going to the it's like a big waterfall and there's blue water as well mm -hmm. that's about another five kilometers 
I think oh, this is enough exercise for us for today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be a bit warm today, which is yeah. actually really nice, but the yeah, Mishinoeki that we're at at the moment has showers, which is lovely, so at least we can freshen up afterwards. <laughs> the blue pond is not clear now. Who oh. knows? Just like you saw on that side before. May not actually be clear or blue. So I guess we'll find out. Try to find a picture later. We went into here in winter with the snow slowly approaches. So. So we just had a freak out. Yeah. Because we did see there was a bear sign over there along the street. And then we turned walked along this path and there in the distance, Serena saw something. Yeah. But it turns out it's, it's, it's just yeah, it's just a stone. It's a stone <laughs> that's big and looks furry, so fuck. <laughs> Let's investigate this bear. <sighs> yeah, that's our bear. Bastard. Two bears, it's a family. We are. So pretty. Just like you. <laughs> Daisies. The vines so taking vine. over. Yeah. What you can hear there coming is someone wearing a bear bell. So we are supposed to get as well. Hello. Yeah. Oh, it's a Shahigi Nutaki Falls. Oh wow! Ooh. Look at that! Ah, oh, look how clear the water is. Hope you can see it. Amazing. That's where we came from, from over there. That's how clear it is. It's amazing. Oh, gosh! Wow! That's beautiful. Oh, it goes all the way down, doesn't it? I wonder if you can drink it. So the ones we were at yesterday was up there on the, on the mountain. Jesus Christ. That thing just flew to the wind is up here. Look at his yeah. swagger. <laughs> Go buddy. Don't Go. touch it. <laughs> He's gonna block you. <laughs> So we're meant to have a little snack here at this rest stop before we go back. But they don't accept cash. Oh, sorry. They only accept cash and no card and yeah. they forget to bring cash. That's the one annoying thing sometimes. Oh well, because he doesn't get our money. It's there we go. Good, eh? It's not pretty bloody good. Okay. So you have to ask some money so we go no, back to the car. Yeah. Have some toasties and then see if you want to stay here and chill or go oh, next destination. Go. Hey. He has F bus, so he gets all money. But we do have so just usually we bring enough coins as well to buy something, but this time we forgot. And these situations were annoying if you don't accept card only cash. 
which happens a lot in this country. Oh wow! Go little buddy. He's a nice colour, isn't he? Hmm. I want to take a photo because I think mm. it's absolutely beautiful. And there's a nice little waterfall this way as well. Mm hmm. Oh man, what a temperature difference, hey? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, so we had a situation over there, the gate is closed, but only for the cars. Crisis averted. We can get through the gate. Back to safety. Get some petrol. Oh, good. Here, up north, you want to see the, the Museum of the Northern People, the Museum of Aboriginal People of Japan. And after this, I'm going to go and have a look at the prison. And Serena found as well a shipman car. You might explore that one as well, and then at this we head east. So, yeah, that's it. So, we left you guys last at uh beer is where we stayed at a mission Oaki and we did a 11.5 kilometer hike which was awesome and uh i got bit by something really bad on my foot or on my ankle area my foot swelled up then i wasn't feeling very crush hot after that so for the last two days i did not sleep very well and i just was not in a good mood so unfortunately because of that, we broke our 30 day streak of living out of Harvey. So we booked ourselves a hotel at our next spot. We did try to get a really nice hotel with a hot spring in it, but as we were literally booking it, what happens? Sold out. Can't believe it, we lost our chance. So the only other thing that was available in the area at the time <laughs> was a love hotel, which, Surprisingly enough, it was actually pretty good. <laughs> now anything's a bit of an upgrade for us living out of this car, but oh, it was so nice. And yes, it was a love hotel. So things are done a little differently in love hotels, which we discovered. Um, so the first odd thing for us is that they actually lock you in the room. You cannot escape that room unless you call reception and ask to be let out. So you have to be let out and let back in, but you can only do so by calling the reception. But the room itself was actually really nice. We spent two days in there. Um, and yeah, then we literally spent one day chilling in bed, watching Netflix and it was so good. And the best thing about that room is complete block out of light. There is not one crack of light that got into that room which Andy 
absolutely loves. So after a little mad dash to get from our accommodation to Rasu, that's the place where we are now. Yeah. What are we doing today, sorry? We're gonna go see some killer whales. Hopefully. <laughs> We've been on the road for 103 days. 123. 123 days. Yeah. One minute in, you can barely see the port. 